Well, hello everyone and howdy. Uh, I say howdy because we're out in the Badlands uh, for this video. Uh, this is a little town called Dorothy, uh, Alberta, uh, out east of Drumheller. And this is the plein air painting that I did uh, on location. Uh, some buddies and I, uh, Keith Andrews and Neil Hammond, and I uh, went out uh, past East Cooley into Dorothy uh, a little while ago. And and I had this old canvas kicking around, which is such a, an odd shaped canvas. Uh, but uh, I thought, you know what, I, I think I might want to try squeezing that tall elevator into that canvas just to see how weird it will look and whether or not it would work. Uh, and just see if, if a compositional experiment like that could actually be pulled off. And, and I really didn't think it could. I have to be honest, I thought it would be a fun painting experiment, but uh, kind of a, a useless canvas that wouldn't really serve a purpose. But I actually do like it. Um, I had to cheat a little bit. Uh, you'll you'll notice uh, as I put up the reference photo that I'm throwing right now uh, that the uh, uh, grain elevator went on a bit of a diet in my painting uh, and I stretched him up a little bit. Uh, and that was uh, just to fit it a little bit more comfortably but give me a little bit of room on either edge to sort of emphasize how it's starting to crumble um, and get the tension uh, into how fragile it is to, for the viewer. Uh, but I like the reference photo here a lot better um, because it tells a deeper story for me. When I was there sitting up in the field, I was really struck by the fence and the juxtaposition of the fence and the tracks and the grass leading into the elevator. So the tracks welcome me and ask me to go to the elevator and the fence tells me to stay out. Um, and I really like that tension because when I see old things, like I, I love history so much and I love old things. Uh, one of the things I like, and I seem to be uh, unable to help myself from doing it, but I just envision myself living in that time and, and trying to experience what it would have been like to have seen this town when it was thriving instead of a near ghost town, uh, to see this building when it was new and, and performing the function it was made to do. And it's like a, a call. So that's the tracks in the grass calling me to come back to that time. And of course, the fence is physics and the laws of time that won't allow me to do so. So so the fence operates as a nice symbol for me and a barrier. And I'm hoping that point of tension uh, deepens the painting. And I uh, also wanted to um, show the two together so that you, you would see uh, firsthand and in real time, I'm using both of these, the plein air field study and the photo reference to execute uh, the larger studio piece uh, that you're gonna be watching in this time-lapse. I tend to use the plain air painting for correct color uh, and correct value and temperature in that color. Uh, and the photograph helps me with the details that I wouldn't otherwise be able to remember or that I wasn't able to capture uh, in the plain air because uh, the plain air is, is really only about an hour. And uh, so it's, it's a lot to try to capture a ton of information in that amount of time. Um, so my intention for these time lapses is just to offer people a restful place uh, and hopefully something entertaining to watch. Uh, so sit back and relax and I hope you do enjoy it and find it entertaining. And, uh, and I will see you all in the next video.